everybody, welcome back. This is Alex. Today, we're testing Unity, Unity 3D. And thanks to those that came to the live stream the other day, we came up with uh, a couple of scenarios that we can test. Appreciate all those that were there that helped out. If you don't want to miss the live streams, that's where we kind of beta test and do some informal testing. Do subscribe to the channel. We do all kinds of different topics, developer related topics, testing these new machines. Uh, by the way, what I'm testing today is the MacBook Air M1 versus the MacBook Pro 16 inch M1 Pro machine with 10 cores. And this is the M1 Max with 10 cores um, MacBook Pro as well. So these two are the newest machines and this one is about a year old, but we're gonna have the same version of Unity on all these. And these are all gonna be Apple Silicon versions of Unity that we're testing. So I've downloaded version three of Unity Hub right here that's available on the website. Now this one doesn't have an editor installed yet. I just wanted to uh, not have it installed so I can show you which one I used. Install editor. And then the first few options you have are for the LTS version of the editor, which is the long-term support. Notice that none of them are Apple Silicon versions. They're all Intel versions. So you have to go down here to other versions. These are not LTS yet. They're in beta. This is the one I'm gonna grab. This is the one for Apple Silicon. So I'm gonna install that one. While that's installing, I did already install it on these two other machines during my live stream. Now, just so that we have the same versions of everything on the, all these machines, I went ahead and uninstalled the previous versions of the editor and I've reinstalled this version right here. 2021.2.1F1, which is for Apple Silicon. I've removed all my projects, so everything is nice and clean now. Now let's go and create a new project. It's gonna be a new project, 3D and I'm gonna call it my 3D proj one. So I'm gonna test the speed of the creation of these projects on all three machines here. That's gonna be the first test. And while it is fun to press the button at the same time to see who's gonna win, I'm actually gonna use a timer instead to see uh, how long it takes on each one of these machines. And I'm gonna click create and start the timer. I also don't know if during the project creation time, if it has to download any assets during that time. I think since I've already created the projects before, they might be cached locally, all the necessary assets. But if you know otherwise, let me know in the comments. This one's taking a while and okay, 31 seconds. Wow, okay, so that took a while. Let's see if the MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro chip does any better. Let's go. Oh, 20 seconds. So that's pretty good, considerably better. Now the M1 Max. Okay, this one was 17 seconds. So because there is a memory difference between these two machines, that might play a part here in the creation of the project and the speed of that. For the exact specs, see in the description below. We are going to use the 3D kit, but we also wanna get a baseline to see how long Hello World takes to start. So I'm gonna press the play button here. I guess it's doing something. Okay, so running this game is uh, pretty trivial. It doesn't look like it takes any time at all. I'm gonna skip that test. Instead, I'm gonna head out to the command line and do a build from the command line. First thing I gotta do is find the application that I can run from command line. And this is where it's located. Applications, Unity, Hub, Editor, blah, blah, blah. You can see it on screen. Basically, what we wanna run is this Unity app, and this is the executable. So we wanna run this and we wanna pass some command line arguments to it. And here's the command line arguments for building it through the command line. <laughs> I'm giving it the project path. I'm telling it to quit so that the command line terminates after it builds and I'm timing that. I'm also passing in the project directory and a flag to build the OSX universal player, which should output a player that's gonna be compatible with this machine. Now I am gonna execute the same command on all three machines. And if for some reason this exact build command is not right. At least it'll be the same on all three so we can compare that. Let's go. So it says, it looks like another Unity instance is running with this project. Okay, so I need to terminate the project first and now we can do the build. So this opens up the editor and the project inside the editor, then builds it. <laughs> I don't know why it needs to open the editor, but okay. At least this will also take into account the time of opening the editor. So it's the whole shebang. That looked like it worked, and that was 29 seconds on the MacBook Air M1. Let's do the same thing over here on the MacBook Pro, and off we go. Let's see how long this one takes. All right, I wonder if it's the same amount of time that the creation of the project is around there. Okay, so quite a bit faster, 17 seconds over here. 
And finally on the M1 Max machine, tried there, 20 seconds. <laughs> so this one took a little bit longer that time, but it's nice to be able to quantify these things. Now, of course, I'm gonna run this one more time just to make sure we get consistent numbers here. Well, not consistent at all, but it makes sense because this was already built. However, because it opens up the editor, checks it and builds it again, or rather sees that it's already built, that time that it takes to open the editor up does matter. And here we have 11.5 seconds in the MacBook Air M1, 8.23 on the MacBook Pro M1 Pro, and 7.9. So very close on the two machines, on the two MacBook Pros here. Now, if I go to my assets on the Unity site, I can grab this 3D game kit and just click on open in Unity. You can also do this from Unity itself. In other words, access the asset store from the project, but I can do it this way too. The key is, having the project open first before clicking that link because I got confused and I didn't do that. So I was wondering what, what happened. And that's kind of a weird design choice on the part of Unity team, um, letting the editor know or the hub know that you need to have a project open first before clicking that button. And I'll freely admit this, <laughs> I'm not a Unity developer. For noobs like me, this is not very easy to get started with. Anyway, besides all that, appreciate all the help again from people in the live chat. So now that I've got the project open, now I can go to the site and open in Unity. And this will open up the package manager. So there's our 3D game kit, which we need to download. And that's gonna take a little bit of time. So I'll do that on all three of these machines. All right, so I've got those assets imported. And uh, yeah, it's working pretty well on these two machines, but the M1 MacBook Air is still importing and it's taking a little bit of time. So I'll let that finish. I do wanna build this project one more time from command line. And this time we're gonna go in this direction because that one is not done yet. All right, so let's build the project and see if there's any difference in the times now. I'm gonna use the exact same command, same target and everything. Now we're ready to go, let's go. And I'll do the same thing over here on the Pro. So this one is taking a little bit longer because there's a lot more assets to build. And if you've ever used the 3D game kit, maybe you know uh, how long things take to import all those assets, to download them and then to build them. Wow. <laughs> Didn't think it would take this long. I guess this turned out to be a pretty good benchmark test. All right, the MacBook Air is done. So I'm gonna do the same thing over there. I'm gonna kick off a build from command line. And this looks like it might take a while. So I'll be back with the results. Folks, we have an update. These two machines have finished and they're pretty close. I didn't know that this was gonna take so long, but nonetheless, it makes it's a pretty good test. So that uh, machine right there, the MacBook Pro M1 Max, took five minutes and 23 seconds to build that project. I'm really curious, by the way, uh, if you do try this at home on your own machines, it would be nice to post it in the comments, let everybody else know how long this took, because I don't think this kind of benchmark exists yet. This might be a good start of it. All right, now onto the M1 Pro five minutes and 28 seconds. But right now there's not that much difference between these two and that's probably because they're both 10 core. M1 though, it's still building. So that's gonna take a little bit of time. We'll see how much longer that's gonna take. Now, while that's finishing up, I'm gonna kick off the project over here on these two machines. And we're gonna take a look at things like playability and uh, how much frames per second we get on these machines. All right, so here is the project and I'm gonna open up 3D Game Kit. Let's go to scenes. And we'll go to this one, start, there it is. Got my handy stopwatch. I'm gonna click on play and let's see how long that takes to start. And that was about three seconds. All right, we got music, let me turn that down. There we go. Now, just on this home screen, I'm getting 300 <laughs> frames per second. 400 is jumping between 200 and 400 frames per second, which is kind of insane. And it kind of looks like things are running in fast forward, fast motion. That's how smooth it is going. All right, let's take a look at this one here. And start, there it is, let's go. So very quick on the start of both of those machines. Now this one, the frames per second is going between 200 and 300. I haven't seen it hit 400 yet here. So that's pretty interesting. This one is in the high 300s, sometimes hitting 400. 
Pretty cool. Okay, I'm gonna make the window large here. Actually, I'm gonna set this to play maximized. Same thing here. And uh, let's kick this off. I'm gonna click on start on both of these. Now the M1 Pro actually started up first. That one is still loading. Not sure if anything is wrong with that. The M1 Pro is ready to go. I can actually play the game now. It's very smooth, super smooth. There is a little bit of choppiness initially, but for the most part, it's pretty smooth. Yeah, once everything loads into memory, gameplay is quite smooth. Let's take a look at the stats now. And we're about 150 FPS here gonna make that window bigger. The FPS isn't really dropping that much when I play the game. I'm hitting 100, 105, 130, 140 FPS, and this is me playing the game. Now this one, it froze. Not quite sure what happened here. I got the beach ball of death over here, folks. Not a good sign. All right, while all this is happening, the M1 Air is still building that project. All right, folks, the MacBook Air M1 finished 15 minutes, 24 seconds. That's a long time. These two about five minutes, 23, 28, and this one 15 minutes. Wow. So there's a big difference for you. I've also started hearing the fans on these two machines. This one is spinning at 3,500 RPM and this one is at 2,300 RPM. And they're both pretty warm now. So at the top there, it's 43 degrees for the M1 Max. Here is 41 degrees for the M1 Pro. And this one just finished compiling and it's at 43 degrees. And of course, you can see the internal temperature of the processors, 76, 79, and 85. For those of you that aren't familiar, I'm using TG Pro to be able to determine the temperature and the RPM of the fans. Link down below in the description if you want to try a copy. Now I need to start the game up over here. Now I did have to force quit Unity over here. Could be because it's a beta product. Uh, there might be some things. It's working fine now on the M1 Max as well, but I did have to restart it. And now I'm gonna time the start of this app on the M1 Air. There's our scene and let's go. Okay, so that was pretty quick. Four seconds, not that much slower than the other ones. Now, while it's still small, I didn't maximize it yet. I'm getting 140, 130 frames per second here. Starting up the game on the MacBook Air. And yeah, I mean, it looks fine. It looks okay. I'm getting, uh, let's see, about 40 frames per second though. So it's not as smooth. You can see that from the readout. And also I can kind of feel it a little bit different although it is completely playable it's still not giving me the full smooth 60 frames per second whereas this machine as i'm moving around is giving me about 99 to 150 i've seen it hit 150 now it's about 130 140 frames per second now the m1 max the one with all that gpu power i'm not 100 percent certain it's using the gpu to max but it is giving me smooth performance here as you would expect we're moving between 160 frames per second 170 down to 120 and, and i've even seen it hit 90 but otherwise pretty smooth experience and a beautiful screen so there you go folks hopefully that was helpful to all those unity folks out there i'd appreciate a thumbs up helps me out a lot and um, it lets me know that you like this kind of content and if you do also consider subscribing to the channel thanks again folks i'll see you next time